What's going on? This is Big Homie Kev. And uh, I'm sitting here about to make a slapper real quick. Now, I was in the Beast looking at, you know, some drums. And this time, I figured, well, I don't want to use a any drum sounds. I want to use a drum loop, one of the Beast drum loops. And I found one that was just so on point that it made me want to create, like, like some, like, almost like, like, like some pop R&B more pop side though you know more more like uh let me see uh so that's what i wanted to and then here's the drums Kinda Now the good thing about the beast is is all of the drum loops contain the drum sounds from the beast. So this snare, this kick, this hi-hat or whatever I used in there is all separate. It's all separate. I just took the, the same sounds and created some drum loops. Okay, so let me. Hello, this is your cell phone. What My cell phone always ringing. Hold you on. Me in your okay, so let me record this real quick. play the piano by itself. Be messing up, man. Messed up again. Hey, it happens to all of us. You know how that is. Too many. It's kind of. See. See, and this is the beauty of. That's the beauty of using the beast is that you know, like you don't have you you're not confined to just one genre. Like I mean, I don't. I don't make just one genre of music, you know, I like to make different genres of music and, you know, this allows me to, excuse all this noise, but, you know, I'm trying to get this straight. Alright, I'm probably just going to add, like, some, some strings or something like that. Something simple, something simple. Uh, That's crazy. That sound like, you know, kind of kind of like a cadence. I don't want to have see. Um, I 
think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like a line. So I kind of want to layer it with, you know, with this string, but I don't want this. I want the piano to be louder than the string, but I want it to kind of, you know, and normally I don't like to mix or any type of thing. You know, I like to keep all my levels at whatever levels they are because I like to get the idea out. And then after I create the beat, I'm satisfied with the beat. Then I like to go and start, you know, start um, mixing and mastering and making everything sound the way it's supposed to sound but remember the most important part when you're creating is getting that idea out because once you start trying to tweak something or trying to make something sound a certain way you lose the idea and that's the you know you never know which idea is that idea if you know what i mean you know you could be creating that hit song right in the middle of creating that hit song and you start to tweak something you know that's just how it be but you know i know how it is so I'm going to just layer this. And that's from the beast also. I mean, this is crazy, man. I mean, you know, all this stuff. I mean, so let me just let you hear what I got so far. It's pretty simple, but... And then I can add, I just had, uh, let me see, let me see, you know, I love this sub bass, man, I, I love this sub bass, I love it, it's just part of, you know, don't you love sub bass, you know, you're a music producer, I know you love sub bass too, because it's kind of like an 808 that you can play, like an instrument, like a bass note, let me see, so let me get this down. I hit the wrong note. Man, that's crazy, right? But hey, it happens to all of us. Now see now I'm kind of like moving more towards a kind of like a uh, like a pop rock kind of vibe now you know because now I hear like a a guitar in there you know like a uh, like a distorted guitar and I mean what I normally do is I normally get the um, like like when I really want to take it to the next level I mean really want to take it to the next level I'll play the part and then bring in an electric guitar player and let him play on top of it because always remember. Collaborating with live musicians, 
which is basically loops, will take your plan and, and, and your beats to the next level every time. And that's what the major music producers are doing. And that's just straight up. And I know by now, by now you've seen a few of my videos, you should know that by now. Put a symbol. Okay, now, I hear this. I hear this, um, this guitar. And I, I don't, I need to find where it is. Wait, matter of fact, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. I think it's in here. Don't you hate when you're looking for a sound and you, you know what you want, but you got to find it? That's kind of where I'm at right now. And and this is just this raw. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, this is just for you to watch. Like I said, I, I hope that you always learn something from, from my video. kind of what I'm going for. Let me see. Now this is when you start, you know, tuning, fine tuning things and making everything sound the right way. You know, I can bring that that guitar down a little bit more. I can start, you know, bring the piano down a little bit more. Kind of make sure that everything is kind of tight and, and 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 sounding right, you know. And and that's what this is all about, man. Having fun, making hits, you know. Remember collaborating with live musicians. I mean, that's the secret to making hits every time. Every time. You will make hits all day, every day, collaborating with live musicians. And that's why a lot of music producers shouldn't be so quick to say, well, I'm not going to use a loop. Well, think about it. The major music producers, Dr. Dre, Pharrell, Doc, Dark Child, I mean, all of these music producers have live musicians that come in and play melody loops for them. And what do they do? They chop the melody loops and get as creative as they want. But, you know, Justice League, I mean, these guys have orchestras. And imagine the sounds that they have that they've already created hits with. They can take that same orchestra sound, put it on the keyboard, and loop it some kind of way and do something different with it now. But now they have live access to live musicians. And that's the secret to making hits all day. So if you don't got this beast, you know, notice I used a, a drum loop. Everything basically pretty, well, not everything, but pretty much I just used a drum loop from the beast. And, you know, you can see for yourself. It's a beast. Go ahead, click right under this video, check that beast out, get that beast, get that beast, get that beast, check it out, peace.